What is up everybody? My name is Ryan and you're watching Project Racecar. This is a new series that I'm starting today called Ryan Reacts, which will be focused on the best and worst of car culture today. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through some of the most cringy TikTok car trends and explaining my thoughts on them. On the last video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a project car for the channel and I received an overwhelming amount of support and feedback from you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. I also wanted to keep you guys updated and I will be looking at a potential project car for the channel this week. I tried to keep everyone's suggestions in mind and I will be likely picking up this car uh, on Wednesday. And if all goes as planned, I should be doing a project reveal this Friday, so be on the lookout for that. If you guys are new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I wanted to say thank you guys all so much for 1600 subs. You guys are amazing. And a quick disclaimer before the video gets started, I'm not trying to hate on any car builds or any mods, this is just my personal opinion. And if you guys agree or disagree with anything that I mention in today's video, please let me know in the comments down below. Okay, for TikTok trend number one that I think is pretty cringy is going to be the underglow on cars. Uh, it, I've been seeing a lot of underglow on pretty much every t car on TikTok. You can see it's on this Honda and a whole bunch of BRZs. This truck back here has underglow. And I think that it was made popular in the early 2000s when Fast and Furious came out. But I just think that it shouldn't be done on every single car and everyone who, you know, for their first mod. Uh, I think that it can look good on some cars. I can, you know, maybe it'll tie the build together, but I don't think that it should be done on every single car. And personally, I just think it's a little bit tacky. And that's all I'm going to say about that TikTok trend. All right. And TikTok trend at number two is going to be shifting. Like the shifting videos have got to stop. This one has 381,000 likes. It probably has over like a million or two views and she's just shifting from first to second and that's it oh maybe third okay she catches third you know there's not much to the video and i just think that this tiktok trend is a little cringy because again if you if you look at some of the comments and you said women can't drive she's just driving a manual it's not that difficult i don't want to not give credit to her but it shouldn't be 380,000 likes on there. All right, here's that trend again of this girl just driving a stick shift. She's not even looking at the camera, just from second, third. Has 26,000 likes. See, I just, you know, manual lady driver. So I, I just don't get the hype over, you know, girls knowing how to drive manual. I think that is just a somewhat basic task, but um, I don't know. It is cool that they know how to drive manual, but I just think that it gets so much hype and uh, it's just a crazy TikTok trend to me. All right, guys, coming in hot at TikTok trend number three that I believe is cringy, and that's gonna be here are some dope affordable cars for teens or best cars for the boys. These types of trends are kind of ridiculous because it's putting out cool cars but the price range that they always list is completely completely under budget and far from the actual retail price of these if you try to look at some of these cars on tiktok that they're saying are for you know five thousand dollars eight thousand dollars they're always gti's and uh lancers and just all these cool cars that again are awesome cars for your first car however the prices that they put are just you're not gonna find them on facebook on craigslist so it's just really a cringy tiktok trend because i feel like it's just telling people wrong information about cool cars and if these and the only reason why this made it to the list is because the prices are far out of range and I feel like they're just doing it for the TikTok clout. 
just to get people on board with it. Yeah, here's another one. A 2010 Chevy Camaro for $9,000. Maybe if it's a V6 and automatic. A Ford Focus ST. That one might be uh, somewhat similar. Yeah, 2006 Ford GT. If you're wanting something like that that already looks modded, that thing is not going to be $5,000. So, again, this one has... This one lied to 6000 or 647,000 people. Yeah, see, where, where are you buying this? Off a of Wish? 150,000 miles plus on each, though? Yeah, see? Yeah, welcome to the cap store. I like that. Um, again, these, uh, these TikTok trends just need to stop. Because, uh, again, it's just putting out false information about the prices of cars. And, you know, I'm just not a big fan of them. All right, and unfortunately, I got some more hate coming out on the ladies. And that's going to be wrapping everything pink and doing a whole bunch of pink accents on the car. Uh, again, to me, it's just a little cringy to have a fully pink car. And again, this is a uh, 04 Acura. Um, again, wrapping is cool and everything, but... This one has 314,000 likes. And uh, here's another one where they, you know, have the pink steering wheel and the heart, the JDM heart, and uh, a pink LEDs. I just think that the whole pink thing, like, you don't need to fully pink out the TikTok car trend, you know? And it's just, you know, not something that's my style. Uh, and I don't know if you guys like that or... You know, if you guys think this is cool, but I've seen a lot of just like ultra pink cars and certain TikTok trends like this getting the different mod for um, the shifter. And again, I think a two foot shifter is just not anything crazy or special to me. But again, I think it's pretty cringy. Let me know what you guys think. Um, again, do you guys have a shifter like this in your car? Or, yeah, you guys let me know down in the comments. All right, I saved the best for last. This is TikTok trend number five that I think is the cringiest thing. And that is Camber out the wazoo. What is that? I don't know. Do you guys like that? Do you guys like the stanced out Camber that is, like, I understand stance. Don't get me wrong. I understand, like, good fitment something like something like this where it's just you know the straight the straight wheels good for track cars i even understand this kind of you know the the nice flush wheels maybe a little bit of camber out but you know th this is something of a of a good build with good bagging it sits like the fitment is perfect, but the absolute camber on these cars is just undrivable. Again, let me know what you guys think about it. Is that just me? But same thing with this Honda. Like, all it really does is uh, make you look kind of dumb. You just scrape. You, uh, you know, can't get over speed bumps because these aren't bagged. These are just slammed on coilovers with a whole bunch of stands or sorry camber um so again let me know what you guys think about this tiktok trend let me know if you guys think it's cool or not and again personally i'm not the biggest fan of camber but i feel like you see it all the time on tiktok and it gets all the clout in the world so again let me know what you guys think in the comments down below all right you guys let me know how you feel about all these tiktok trends and which one you think is the best which one you think is the worst? Uh, again, I don't quite understand it. But again, let me know what you guys think is the best. Which one you think is the worst? Also, if you want to go follow me on TikTok, my name is Project underscore and 54. Um, so if you guys want to go check out that, you guys can. Um, this is my uh, current car that's down right now, but I'm just working on it. Again, if you guys like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content and watch out for that project car reveal on Friday.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Ryan, and this was Project Racecar. Peace.